the Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Pod Breed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. The opinions expressed on the X and Y show are the sole opinions of the host. Please note, there is no intentional desire to offend any member of the listening audience. With that said, if you still feel offended, (laughs) tough shit. It's time for the X and Y show. With your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. And weather outside is delightful, and uh, I'm nightful. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. (laughs) Greetings, how you doing, how you doing? This is the XY Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. Finally, we are getting a little fall type of weather here in florida it is 58 degrees and it's supposed to get down to 52 tonight i'm thinking about opening my window sleeping naked you know um it feels good it really feels good i really miss the cold weather i gotta get back if it's the last thing i do i gotta get back um, so I hope I don't meet a woman and then I have to stay here. <laughs> That's a little inside joke. If you heard the last episode, you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, how everybody doing? Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving Eve is about a month before Christmas. Damn. Seems like just yesterday I was talking about the Burr months getting in September. And then Halloween came by in two seconds, and now we're at Thanksgiving. Wow. You know, I I don't like this time because it's moving too fast. And, you know, you you look around and Christmas is here. And, uh, you know, I want to slow it it up a little bit. You know, if 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 I could control it, I would slow it up for about two weeks or so. And then ease into it. Damn, last night, Rudolph uh, was on TV, and um, they showed Charlie Brown Thanksgiving uh, Sunday, which, okay, I can deal with that, but why the fuck would they have Rudolph on Monday, and it's, we ain't even had Thanksgiving yet? It's just some dumb shit. You know, when I was a kid, they showed all of the Christmas stuff during December, you know, and they show more shit too. I mean, it's Rudolph, Frosty, um, Smurfs Christmas, Yogi Bear Christmas, uh, the Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, they had all kind of shit when I was little. Now it's like they don't show anything. And then half the shit, you got to get Apple TV and shit. <sighs> Boy, you can't even watch Christmas specials. <laughs> they they want to take everything. <laughs> Then you know they go say you can't wear drawers unless you pay the subscription. <laughs> I want you to pay for all kind of shit now. You know, I've been showing Charlie Brown on Crystal, you know, TV for sixty years, and now all of a sudden you 
You got to have Apple Damn Plus TV to watch it. Uh, anyway. Well, tonight is a little special episode. It is my Thanksgiving Eve episode. I don't think I ever did. Did I ever do a show on Thanksgiving? I might have did and forgot. But anyway, I'm going to do it every year. Um, This is Thanksgiving 2022. Being thankful. Um, I just want to rap to you a little bit. You know, this is one of my rapping sessions. Um, I think that there are a lot of people out there who are, you know, going through something right now. And a lot of people around this time of the holidays are not necessarily, it's not that they're not thankful, but I think they take for granted that what, you know, it could be worse. And you know, when, when, I, when I was a kid, you know, I, I didn't hate Thanksgiving, but it was no big deal to me. It's just a day you get together to eat turkey, <laughs> you know, uh, a day you have off from school. You know, a couple of days and um, you make pilgrims and Indians and color them and shit in school all week because the teachers didn't feel like doing shit. You know, but, you know, it didn't mean shit to me. But as I grow older, I understand how important Thanksgiving is. And now it's not my favorite, you know, Christmas will always be number one. But Thanksgiving is number two. And over the years, I've learned to be more thankful for what I have. You know, it's a lot of shit that I wish I, I wish I had. You know, we're always striving for more, right? Um, you know, I would love to have uh, own a brothel and have you know like two hundred women in there and doing everything I say. <laughs> but you know, I don't have that, not yet. But uh, no, seriously, you know, it's, it's things that you can be thankful for. Um, especially, you know, after what we're going, you know, what was going on last year and coronavirus. Um, there's a lot of people who aren't here anymore to be thankful. You know, we lost a lot of people last year. You know, some of you know someone personally who you've lost or you have friends who lost parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, sons, daughters, you know? So, you know, it's one thing to be thankful for is life, you know? Um, That's a good thing to be thankful for. You know, because you you don't, life is not promised. You know, you could die. The, the coronavirus has taught us you can die suddenly. You can die quickly. You know, you can leave this place. And we always knew that, but it's like it put us, it put it right in our face. You know, so many people have has passed, passed on because of that. You know, disease. So that's one thing you should be thankful for. Life. You should be thankful for if you can walk. You should be thankful for if you can talk. If you can see. If you can hear and touch. You know. If you can, you know, just everything that, you know, you have is someone in the world that don't have it. And I think that we all take that for granted, including myself. You know, it's just something that we always have. And, you know, then we always not happy or ungrateful. You know, we always want more. And, you know, we don't know how to, Enjoy what we do have and be thankful for that. To me, that's what Thanksgiving is about. Thanksgiving is about being thankful for what you have. Fuck a meal. 
Fuck a turkey and all that bullshit. That's nice to have dinner with family. But being thankful is the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Being thankful for what you have. And I think a lot of us are not thankful enough. You know, we take time, um, you know, we take a waste too much time being ungrateful. And a lot of us don't cherish family enough. You know, in my opinion, in my opinion. Time is so precious. You know, one one moment you're you're in your twenties, the next moment you're in your thirties, you know, you move on, time is moving fast. Next thing you know, someone passes away. Then you know, you're you're at your their funeral. Oh, oh I wish we were close. <laughs> You know, then you're sending them flowers and $200 at the funeral. Don't mean shit now. It's too late. Be thankful for what you have while you have it. For those of you who are, you know, have strained relationships with your family members. I know sometimes Cuts go deep sometimes. I really do. I'm fortunate enough to have a family where I don't have any, you know, bad blood between my siblings. But I've seen it through friends who, you know, I've seen friends of mine who haven't spoken to their siblings in 20 years. You know, 10, 15, 20 years. Haven't spoken to the brother. Haven't spoken to the sister. And God behold, some haven't even spoken to their parents. So, you know, um, I just think that we as a society has to do better. We have to stop taking for granted what we have and be more thankful for what we have. And being thankful is also being with family, you know. And I'm not saying that everyone is always going to get along all the time and you're going to agree 100% of the time. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with spending time with family and being cordial to one another and loving To that family member. Because you only get. A certain amount of time. You know. And then it's over. Then what? You know. You'll be wishing that. You know. If I could have done better. Maybe we should have spent more time together. Maybe. Maybe I should have just gone over there a lot more. Maybe we should have had more Thanksgivings together. Maybe we should have just. Been more brotherly or more sisterly to one another you think about all this shit now that they're gone but it's too late I have a cousin who is uh, one of my biggest fans of the show and I know he'll hear this and, um, you know, he has a brother, he has one brother, you know, and, um, you know, their, their, their mother passed away suddenly last year. And so it's just, uh, them two, you know, they, they don't have each other and don't get me wrong. They love each other. They do down deep, but, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, when they get together, it's like uh, oil and water. You know, it, 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 it. You know, for different reasons. You know, for different shit. But none of it is significant enough to jeopardize your relationship. You only get one brother. You only get one sister. Once they're gone, they're gone. Of course, you're going to have differences. 
you know, everything's not the Cosby show. <laughs> everything's not, uh, you know, a utopia. You know, the perfect family. You're going to have bumps along the road. But the important thing is being thankful and enjoying them while you have them. Don't enjoy them when they're gone. It's too late. You know, they pass on suddenly and you, oh, uh, I miss my brother. I miss my sister. It's too late. Be thankful for what you have. And a lot of times, some of you don't even remember what are the differences. You know, yeah, I don't like being around them, but why? Oh, um, oh, I just don't know. I, I just don't like. Them. <laughs> don't even remember. Probably because it was bullshit. That's why. So you know. All I'm saying is, you know, for those of you who are not uh, getting along with your parents, your siblings, you know, think about that. That's all I want you to do. The, the X and Y show is always a ticking angle where I want you to just think about something. I want you to think about for just one quick second, what if suddenly you missed that person that person is no more in your life. How would you feel? How would you feel? Would you be fulfilled that you had a fruitful relationship with that person? Or would you regret that you didn't spend more time with each other? Or you should have been more loving to each other? And you realize that your differences, your petty differences with just bullshit. How would you feel? Think about it. One second. So one minute. Give me one minute. So as you eat dinner with your family or by yourself tomorrow, I want you to be thankful. Thankful for what you have. Thank for what you could have if you had a better relationship with your family. I want you to be thankful for what you have. Stop taking things for granted. Your life, your happiness, your limbs, your eyesight, your hearing, your speech. Stop taking things for granted. Because once they're gone, you know, and I say they're gone, you know, that there's things you can, you could lose your sight tomorrow. You can lose your hearing tomorrow. You can lose your speech tomorrow. It's called a stroke. It's happened to many people. So nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. So this is why you should always be thankful for what you have thankful for your family and thankful for being able to show your love for them that's what thanksgiving is all about fuck a turkey fuck collard greens fuck cranberry pie and all that bullshit and yes, fuck Jack Daniels too. That's, when, that's not what it's all about. So, that's all I wanted to write this one. I just wanted to rap to you. A lot of you are, you know, having Thanksgiving with your families tomorrow or some of you are not having Thanksgiving at all and you're just miserable or you're having Thanksgiving with family, but you really don't want to be there and all kind of shit. Be thankful for what you have or what you could have. 
That's all. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And then there's nothing you can do. Anyway. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow, whether it's with yourself or with your family. If it's by yourself, then think about what you can do next year to where that won't happen. Think about what you can do better with your family. Where that won't happen. Or if you don't have family, just, you know, be thankful for what you do have. You know, life. Life. So, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. And yes, enjoy your turkey, enjoy your cranberry pie, enjoy your 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 uh, spinach casserole and um bean casserole, you know all that shit, you know. Everybody eat different. You know. To my Cuban friends in Miami, enjoy that pig that you're going to roast on the fire under the banana leaves. <laughs> And that shit is good, let me tell you. Um, enjoy your time with your family. And I want everyone to have a wonderful holiday. Be safe. And I will see you next week. And I also want you to remember that you cannot have love without X and Y. Happy Thanksgiving. Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.